Namaste yogis, today we're going to do a practice which is nice and gentle, great to do at any time throughout the day. I right now am doing it um, just before lunchtime on a Tuesday. Today's going to be great for pregnancies as well because it will give you the opportunity to dive into a practice which is closer to maybe your practice that you had before if you were doing yoga before you got pregnant and also good for beginners, did I say that? Anyway, just a nice all over universal practice for us. So we're going to start um, by just making sure we've got a couple of blocks, a bolster or a cushion and obviously your yoga mat and I'll meet you back in just a moment. So start in a comfortable position, you can either be cross-legged or kneeling, uh, but we do want to be upright just to start and bring the hands onto your tummy. Closing the eyes and then allow your breath to settle as you start to focus on the sounds that are closest to you. Maybe those sounds that are closest to you have sensation. So you may be able to hear your breath moving out of your nostrils but also feel it upon your upper lip. Feel it through the nose, feel the breath and hear the breath as it enters into your body and as it releases. Maybe noticing other sensations, your eyes may get a little bit more watery, your mouth a little bit more watery as well, so maybe take a gentle swallow just so you can release the tension through the throat. And let's bring the hands onto the sides of the ribs and just start to breathe into the sides and the back of the rib cage. And as you breathe out, just direct your breath down towards the earth. Ujjayi breath if you would like. And one more breath like this. And then hands can come onto the heart. As we breathe into our hearts, we honour this moment on our mats. We honour our hearts. Send ourselves love and compassion. With our breath, we send that love and compassion to whoever and wherever we'd like to send it to. And as we release the hands, I'm just going to swap the legs over if they're crossed, maybe give the ankles a roll. So coming into our unfamiliar crossing, we're going to take our left thumb and place it over the left nostril. First two fingers of that left hand are going to rest in between the space of the eyebrows. Taking a breath in through the right nostril and then breathe out through the left. So close the right nostril and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Out through the right. That's one round. In through the right. Out through the left. In through the left. Out through the right. Round number two, breathe in. Out through the left. In through the left. Out through the right. 
that was round three. We've got two more rounds in your own time. Finishing our last round, release the hands down, bring the hands into prayer and just bow your head, get a nice lengthening stretch through the back of the neck. Now as long as it feels okay, we're going to take both hands, interlace the fingers, place them on the back of the head, without pulling the head down, just allow the elbows to relax. And make sure we don't stop rounding through the top of the spine. So we're still keeping that length through the spine. If this feels too much, just by all means, let the head hang. Two more breaths here. Releasing the hands. Take the right ear towards the right shoulder. Options stay here, or you can push down through that left hand. Sometimes I find it quite nice to push into the left thigh. And then take the right, uh, right hand over the left ear, reach the head away. Without yanking the head down or pulling it, we're just adding assistance to create a little bit more length. Remember to breathe. And let's release the hands, roll the head through centre and take us over to the left. Take a moment just to let the head hang out for, for a sec and then maybe push into that right arm, that right hand down into the right thigh and then take the left hand over the, over the right ear. And bring the chin to the chest release the hands and we're just going to lift the head up and down nice and gentle and just loosen up the tension through the neck we're all likely aware of the tension that we hold through our neck and our shoulders Now, if it feels okay, uh, I'll, well, I'll give you a couple of options. If you've got a little bit of a sore neck at the moment, just stick with this first option. Just rocking the head from side to side. Um, the next option is to lift the chin up, allow the head to rest back and open the mouth. Just let the jaw release. And then bring the head back down. Lifting up, allow the jaw to release. And back down. If you don't feel safe doing this, then please don't do it. Stick with that one before. If you are experiencing any crunching, pinching, definitely stick with that one before. We're not there for a long time. We're just allowing a little bit more flexion through the back of the neck. If you're feeling okay um, with the head being backwards, maybe take a full 360. And just see how that is. Make sure you're supporting the head as you go around so you're not just flinging it around or collapsing through the back of the neck. You've still got that support. And think about the length through the side that is being um, made a little bit longer. So as we take the head back, really think about that length 
just opening through the front of the neck as opposed to actually taking the head around and trying to get the head back. Just lifting as we go the other way if you're taking 360. Remember your breath. Maybe an intention if you set one. Two more breaths. Lovely. And let's come on to our hands and our knees. So pregnancies, take the knees as wide as feels comfortable. Um, so you can be a little bit wider. Sorry, I just had an itchy thigh. <laughs> um, a little bit wider than hip width. And I'm going to bring the toes together and just sink the bottom back towards the heels. Pregnancies obviously make room for baby here. If you've got a bolster, you might want to come into hare pose and just rest here instead. Give yourself a little bit of extra room. And just start breathe, breathing into the back space of the ribs. And we're going to reach the hands over to the left edge of the mat. And drawing that right shoulder down. Not a super big stretch here, so if you find yourself reaching all the way over here, pull it back for the moment. We're just getting a little bit of length through the right, right side of the body. And let's go to the other side. Two more breaths. And come back to centre. come up onto hands and knees once again and take some rolls through the hips and the shoulders and the wrists as well if you've got wrist niggles you can come onto fists or forearms on top of blocks or you can just take some hip movement here instead if rolling through the wrists doesn't feel good you can just keep the movement through the hips, which actually, even though my wrists are better now, this feels really good. So it's all about that intuitive movement, moving mindfully for yourself. So what I'm doing um, might not feel as good what is what as what you're doing if you're doing something different. So remember, I'm always just a guide. Um, you don't have to do everything I do. Let yourself be your teacher. Okay, let's take ourselves back into a down dog. Pregnancies, if you're more than 22 weeks, consider just taking puppy dog pose, uh, which is here. You can bring the forearms onto the floor as well. We're not guiding the chest down there. Um, but if you are, as I said, if you are before 22 weeks, you can take down dog as long as baby's not already engaged. Um, and as long as it feels right on your body as well. So just take some rocks from side to side, maybe, maybe pedal the feet. Ensure that the shoulders are relaxed. We're not hunching through the top of the back. We're letting the head... Hang nice and loose. Right, walking the hands back towards the feet, coming into a forward fold at the back of the mat. You can use blocks underneath your hands here if you need to. Taking the feet as wide as feels comfortable. Obviously pregnancies, you want to make it nice and wide to make space for baby. You can keep the hands on the floor, rock side to side, or take hold of opposite forearms. 
and just be mindful not to uh, try and straighten the legs here. If you find that when you straighten your legs, your body actually comes up, bend them so you can get closer to the earth. Just snuggling tummy between the legs. And we're going to slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra, halfway. And take a rock from side to side here. Take a breath in as you round through the body. Taking a standing cat stretch, tuck the chin, tuck the bottom. Breathe out, reach the tailbone away. And reach the heart forward. And let's come up to standing. Breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, release the arms down. And some hip rolls. So taking your time here just to see how it feels, especially in the fronts of the hips, our psoas. And the other way. Lovely. All right, bring the feet hip width apart or a tiny bit wider. So as a guide, about one's, one of your own foot's length is about your own hip width. So if you feel that you are hip width, when your feet are like that and you want to go wider, then obviously take it. I know I always feel like I need to go wider. So just, just some half salutations now. So we're just going to breathe as we reach the arms up. Breathe out, come down with a flat back, bending the knees, hands come down to the floor. Breathe in, halfway lift. Lift the tail, breathe out, fold forward, release the neck and the shoulders, spreading the toes. And roll up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, lift the arms up again. Exhale, release down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, neck and shoulders relaxed. Inhale, come up. Exhale, all the way down, flat back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Let's do three more rounds of this. See if you can connect each movement into one whole wave of movement using that breath to seamlessly move throughout one more round And we're gonna add on from here. So take that forward fold again. Halfway lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Walk the hands forward. Coming into a plank, drop the knees down if you need to. So pregnancies, we're gonna stick with this first option. So drop the knees, you're gonna breathe in as you push down halfway. Breathe out, push up. Breathe in, just reach the heart forward, gaze up. And breathe out, take your down dog or your child's pose. Take three breaths wherever you are. Walk the hands back towards the feet. We're going to take that halfway lift again, deep breath in, breathe out, fold forward, and roll up through the body, inhale. So we're going to do that two more times. As I said, pregnancies, we're going to stick with this, what we're doing now, the whole time. Halfway lift, breathe in, 
Breathe out, fold forward. Walk the hands forward, come onto plank, into plank or hands and knees, so or a low plank. Inhale, push down halfway. Exhale, push up. Inhale, reach the heart forward, gaze up. Exhale, either back to child's pose or a downward facing dog. Three breaths. Find your length. And even if you're not pregnant, you can stick with this one. If this feels really good for you, you stick with this. Walk the hands back towards the feet, coming into a forward fold, halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, release down, soften the neck and the shoulders and the knees. Let's roll up through the body. Take a breath in, reach the arms up. And just bring the hands through prayer, heart space. Last round like that, breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, fold forward, flat back, bend the knees, hands onto the earth, release the neck and the shoulders. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Come forward onto hands and knees or a plank, low plank. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, push up. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Shoulder blades drawing down the back. Exhale, take yourself back down, dog or child's pose. Three breaths. Walking the hands back towards the knees or the feet. Coming into forward fold, halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, fold forward. And roll up through the body. Reach the arms up, take a breath in. Nice big stretch. Hands through prayer, heart space. Take a moment, check in with your intention. So we're gonna do three more rounds. Um, we're going to add on just taking a, um, a full chaturanga with an up dog or a cobra. Reach the arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, come into a plank, option knees down. Breathe out, let's lower all the way down towards the earth or come down halfway for pregnancies. Inhale, take a cobra or an up dog. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Three breaths. Here's one. Two. Three. Walk the hands back, coming into a forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, forward fold. Roll up through the body, inhale, lift the arms up. Hands through prayer, exhale, heart space. Lovely, reach the arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, come forward into a plank, option knees down. Breathe out, lower halfway or all the way down to the earth. Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down dog. Three breaths. Intention, spread the toes, spread the fingers. Here's two. Movement if you want to. Three. Hands come back towards the feet. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, release. Roll it through the body. Deep breath in, reach the arms. Hands through prayer, heart space. Beautiful. One more round, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back down. 
Inhale to a plank, option knees down. Exhale all the way down or halfway. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. Three breaths. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, fold forward. And roll it through the body. Deep breath in as you reach the arms up. Hands through prayer to heart space. Lovely. Take a moment just to spend some time to breathe. Hand on heart, hand on tummy. Maybe both hands down to your tummy. Checking in with affirmations. Sending love to yourself, to anyone else, to your baby for pregnancy. <laughs> and open the eyes. Great stuff. Let's come into the center of our mat and just face the long side. And we're gonna turn, turn the right toes to face towards the short edge of the mat and come into a warrior two. So non-pregnancies, keep the front heel in line with the inner arch of the back foot. Pregnancies, just toe heel the foot so the feet are not on the same line and maybe shorten your stance a bit. So it will feel a bit weird because you'll be diagonal instead of being straight. Okay, so bend into the front knee. You want to have that front knee directly above the ankle or a little bit above, but not beyond. Tuck the tailbone in and just broaden through the collarbones. And maybe just take some shoulder rolls. One more. Sink down. And we're going to flip the front hand, take a breath in, reach all the way back, breathe out. Inhale, come back to warrior two, exhale, reach over, side angle, rotate the heart upwards, maybe hand comes to baby. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, straighten up, bring the hands onto the hips, we're going to turn the feet, so we're going to swap over. So remember, pregnancies, the feet want to be slightly apart so they're not on the same line. Take it nice and wide. Sink the hips down and take some shoulder rolls here. Lovely. Inhale, flip the front hand, take yourself back, keep the legs still. Exhale, inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, reach yourself forward, find that length down the right side of the body, rotating the heart up, drawing tummy button towards spine so we're not puffing the chest out. Breathe in, come back to warrior two. Breathe out, straighten the legs, turn that front heel in. We're going to bring the heels lining up with each other now for a wide leg forward fold. So if you've got blocks, have those near you just in case. So first option is just to have the hands on the hips. Next option is to bring the hands to the small of the back, draw the elbows together. La um, third option, not the last, but third option for today um, is to interlace the fingers behind the back. So wherever we are, take a breath in. Breathe out, tip from the hips, make sure you're not leaning into the heels so you can keep the hands at your back or if you feel up to it, reach the arms over or if you're a bit tired, <laughs> you can bring the hands onto blocks here and just take a rock from side to side. Remember your breath. All right, so taking some movement from here. If you're using blocks, you can keep them there or you can bring the fingertips towards the earth. 
We're going to keep the hips still. We're just going to reach the right arm up to the sky. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Bring the hands down. Knees are soft. Breathe in. Left arm lifts up. Breathe out. Here's our first option. Breathe in. Lift the right arm. And out. Breathe in. Left arm. And out. So to take it a bit further, if you would like to, you can bring the left hand in line with the right foot and take yourself a little bit further. Maybe the right arm wraps behind for a breath. As we swap over. Maybe you want to take it a little bit further again and drape your body over that right leg without shifting the hip. One more round, right and left. <sighs> Take a halfway lift, breathe in. And as you breathe out, let's come into a yogi squat. So turn the feet in and sink the hips down towards the heels. If you've got blocks, you can use a block underneath your bottom here to support you, up to you. If you've got any pelvic girdle pain, um, I would suggest just sitting on two blocks and lifting up here and just not taking the knees as wide so lift up through the chest and breathe down in towards your root so right into the base of the spine two more breaths is one and two Lovely. And we're going to come onto our bottoms from here anyway. So you can make your way however feels good. Pregnancies come with me. <laughs> You're going to sink down onto your hands and your knees. Take your feet to one way, one side. Hands go to the other side. And come onto your bottom here. Bring in the soles of the feet together. All of us join into Barakanasana. So just give the the knees a little flutter, lifting through the heart space still, so try and get that nice long line through the spine. Brill. One more breath. And still that down. Great, so Taking some seated twist pregnancies, keep it open. So pregnancies, you're gonna keep the right arm at the right leg. You can use a block underneath the left arm to open out. Non-pregnancies, we're gonna close the twist and take it a little bit further. Um, but just remember, if you feel better here, just by create, creating that nice openness, that's fine. So we're gonna take three breaths. And the twist wants to come from the, from the heart and the torso as well, so we're not pushing or pulling with the arms. And let's swap sides. So either take the left arm towards that right knee or keep the left arm at the left knee if you're pregnant. and come back to center taking the right leg out to the side hugging the left knee in so the left foot is going to sit into the um, inside of the right thigh block if you want to use it reach the left arm up take a breath in as you breathe out reach over and you can rest your right forearm on this block if you've got the availability and you want to um, take hold of that right foot with the left hand you can but be mindful that you don't pull um, the body forward so you want to be reaching you want to be reaching over but for me right now I just want to stay here <laughs> but feel free to take it further one more breath 
come back to centre. Let's swap the legs over, maybe give them a, a little shake out in between sides. Right arm lifts up, take a breath in and breathe out. Reach over to the left, rotate the heart upwards. Three breaths. And come back to center. And let's open the legs out. So only taking them as wide as feels comfortable. Pregnancies, I'd recommend um, taking it narrower than what you usually do. Um, just because the the hips at the moment but if you feel good to take it wide then there's no there's no reason why you can't it's just um, relaxing through the body you might be a little bit more um, prone to hyper extension so um, blocks or bolster if you want to use them we're gonna just roll forward here and just taking a little bit more of a yin approach so not thinking about that length and pulling our heart forward we're just going to round forward and maybe we can take the head into the hands and just allow yourself really to soften you can maybe bring the arms down onto the floor and use the block underneath the forehead we're going to spend five breaths here And to come out of the posture, place the palms of the hands on the floor and just assist yourself back up halfway. Take a breath and then come up. And then bring the knees in. Take the hands behind you and just take a rock from side to side with the legs. Beautiful. Let's come on to our backs. If you are pregnant, I would recommend just grabbing yourself some support just to have your back elevated. So you can use a block and a blanket or a bolster. Um, you can do this anyway, even if you're not pregnant. This feels really, really, really good just to open up through the heart a little bit more and you can rock the knees from side to side. So I'm going to give you just this opportunity to take any posture that feels good. You can come with me for what I'm going to do, but if there's any other um, kind of finishing postures or you like to do inversions before relaxation, you can do that. So I'm going to bring the left ankle on top of the right thigh and literally just leave it here and press my left hand into the left knee. One more breath. And swap sides nice and gentle. Five breaths. release. Let's take a comfortable shavasana, so maybe bring the soles of the feet together, knees out, um, Baddha if you'd like, or take the feet out wide to the sides of the mat and open the arms out. Whatever feels best, 
just come into a, a position where you're going to be able to stay still. You're going to be able to be comfortable. And you're not going to have to readjust or have your mind focusing on discomfort instead of stillness and peace. So as you start coming into your breath, welcome your breath home, welcome your self home. Relax any facial expression. And feel anchored by the points in contact with the earth. Feel connected with the earth as she holds you here. Know that she is always there to support you. She's there to help you as you lay upon her to rest. She's there supporting your every step. She's there to help you push against as you bring yourself back up. At times when you may fall. She never leaves you. One of this moment to welcome yourself home back into the earth and have gratitude for the earth that holds you beneath, holds beneath your body. For the way she supports your loved ones. She too is your home. And now just repeat either silently or aloud. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be grounded. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be grounded. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be grounded. If you have time to take a longer Shavasana, please do. Thank you for joining me today with your practice. Namaste.